I'm going to share with you seven problems beginner have with Substance Designer. And these are the exact same problems I was having five years ago when starting out to learn material art to become a professional. They caused me a lot of anger and frustration. But today, I'm going to show you also seven ways of how to fix them so it doesn't happen to you and you can have an easy fix to move forward to your next step. Starting in this list is problem number one, and that is a steep learning curve. Substance Designer is quite a complex software to learn, and there are actually four main reasons for this. It has too many nodes. Substance Designer has hundreds of nodes in there, and it's really hard to learn them all. Even I, after five years working as a professional material artist, I haven't been able to use them all, and they keep adding more to it every single year. Now, you also have complex workflows with Substance Designer, would make this even really more difficult for beginners to get into this when the actual workflow is really different to other 3D softwares. You're also going to find yourself with the lack of learning resources. You might have a lot of really nice YouTube tutorials and even free tutorials from ArtStation Learning. However, you don't find much information about how to use this software in a professional way to become a material artist of the industry. There's also a lot of complicated tech information in this area, which not many people know about, and you need to need a lot of math. In fact, I've done it in the past when I was trying to learn and you have a video for this that is called the current blur. You also have a lot of complicated touch information and many people really struggle with this because again you have to learn basic math and image processing and apply it to Substance Designer with tools you don't even know or they're not even written about. All of this is making you go slower when you're trying to learn this software from start. 